Well, supermarket generic brands started out as the second-rate budget option, but in recent years the two big chains have spent a fortune on developing better lines. Today we put them to the test, naming the cheap alternatives that smash the more expensive brand names. The ultimate taste testers, ready to gobble their way through a shopping trolley full of family favourites. Bread, pasta, snacks, drinks, biscuits, even chocolate. Generic versus premium brands, can they tell the difference? Is everyone ready for the ultimate taste challenge? Yes! No one wants to back out? No! Let's go. 14 products in all, and we're starting with something fun. Can we bring in the pizzas? Yes! It's Woolworths home brand against McCain, but they're simply labelled A and B. Our testers don't know which is the generic, and we want to know which tastes best. Chewy. Yeah, not much difference, though. I reckon B's better. He's talking about McCain, and he wasn't alone. More than three quarters of our testers preferring it to the home brand. But things are about to change, and it all starts with the humble sausage roll. I haven't tucked in yet. I think A is certainly more appealing. Golden in colour, ready to be eaten. Whereas B, sort of flaky, yeah, a bit pale. They weren't as keen on the premium brand, the Coles one getting the nod, and 27% cheaper as well. When it came to rice, a quarter of our testers couldn't split the Coles Smart Buy and the more expensive Sunrise. But for pasta, Woolworths home brand was no match for Veda. So which one did you think was better, Jackie? Definitely the B. Definitely B. Yeah. Do you mind if I sneak a bit? Go for it. Give that a try. Now, the best thing since sliced bread, it seems, is home brand sliced bread. And it took all sorts of tests to reach that conclusion. Are you tunnelling through to China and your bread in there? <laughs> is that how you eat your bread all the time? I don't really like crust. <laughs> so you go from the inside out? Yeah. <laughs> Whichever method our testers tried, for white bread, an incredible three quarters chose the Woolworths brand over the much more expensive Sunblessed. Beef or beans? And we're in for another shock with baked beans. The one labelled B is the generic option. B has got more sauce and the sauce brings in the flavour. Definitely B. So it's got more flavour. The other one's really bland. In fact, only four of our testers preferred the premium baked beans. This one a big win for the Coles generic. And so, as we reach the halfway mark on our challenge, it's time to take a break and consider why the no-name brands are doing so well. Well, we've certainly invested an awful lot of time and money um, and effort into making our private label products fantastic quality at a fantastic price. Claire Buchanan's from Woolworths. Both her chain and Coles have spent big money improving their generic brands to ensure that they're just as competitive as the real thing. You don't have any of the marketing and associated costs that a brand might have for advertising and such like. That means we get to keep the prices down to offer customers an even better deal. <laughs> but back at the Taste Test Challenge, we learned that for some products, there's still a long way to go. For Jan, the Cotty's variety was preferred to the Woolworths brand. When I tasted it, it felt like it actually tasted like strawberry. This one of the few times that the home brand was a real turn-off. It is, it gives you that, oh it is. There were strong opinions for peanut butter too. Kraft beat Coles. Please like cement. Could you have some tomatoes? Just from the river? No? Hopefully she and the others aren't as harsh on the chips. Corn chips are our favourite at home. So this will be, this will be a true test. I can't choose because they're very the same. In fact, little Charlotte speaks for everyone. Half like the Doritos, but half still went for the Woolworths home brand. And for the other snack, the crackers, Cicada snuck in ahead of the Woolworths home brand. But what about to wash it all down? Spring water looks the same, but could you tell them apart? With the water, I could definitely taste uh, the difference. The Evian water costs nearly four times as much, but nearly all of our group preferred the Coles brand or couldn't decide. And if the kids want a bit of flavour, what about cordial? The A's really sweet. That's their problem with that Definitely the B. <laughs> She prefers Cotties, but she's just about on her own. Three quarters of our group said that Woolworths was their preferred choice. 
And even better news, it's 41 cents a bottle cheaper. But for other sweet things, brand names might be best. Tucking into Scotch fingers, most preferred Arnott's to Woolworths. And every single tester preferred to guzzle Cadbury chocolate to the Woolworths Select brand. You, you can spot Cadbury chocolate eaters here, hey? <laughs> But with generics either winning or coming very close in many categories, there is money to be saved. Oh, it's a massive chunk because we're a family of six. So we would do a weekly shop of $250, $300 easy. And with that in mind, so many of our testers finished up with a much different attitude to the generics compared to when our testing began. Normally I'm a, a brand man. Uh, but I've found out definitely that, that I'm not maybe dis persuaded now. I'm normally like the brand names, I do, but after today I, I might change my mind a little bit because I didn't realise how nice they were. And there's more information about those taste tests at our ACA website.